Welcome back, everyone. Wasn't that an amazing Stage X session? To reintroduce for myself to those of you tuning in, I'm Claire Zhao, and I'm a VP at GSC Ventures. Today, I am beyond excited to have with me Jean Eddy, the president and CEO of American Student Assistance, also known as ASA, as well as Rilwan Miran, who's the head of impact investing at ASA. I'd love to start and kick off with this question around learning more about what a ASA is and what you all have been up to since the last year we met. Happy to, Claire. As you know, ASA is a national nonprofit changing the way kids learn about careers. We've engaged more than 12 million kids with our platforms, and that's only the beginning. Over the last year, we've been expanding our suite of free digital experiences to revolutionize the career readiness journey for teens. The suite now includes Next Voice, a youth advocacy platform that gives kids the durable skills they need to effectively advocate for the causes they care about. And you may have seen a press release that went out earlier today about the launch of our newest digital experience, Evolve Me, that incentivizes kids ages 13 to 18 to develop transferable skills, access career mentoring, and hands-on experiences that advance their career interests. And by the way, we're looking for innovative and mission-aligned companies to provide career-focused tasks or rewards featured within the Evolve Me platform. If that's you, please join us on Tuesday from 1010 to 1140 in Seaport Tower 977. That is so amazing. I'd love to learn a little bit more about what led you all to create these platforms and why they're so successful. We've done a lot of research about this generation of young people. We've learned that kids don't feel as though they have enough information about possible careers as they leave high school. We also learned that their interests, where they go to find information, and what they need to make confident decisions. We know that this generation of young people spends significant time on their digital devices, and over 94% of them have cell phones. So we decided to meet them where they are, in a format that makes sense to them. And this format allows us to reach teens from all backgrounds. For Next Voice and Evolve Me, we spoke to over 6,000 teens who gave us feedback on things like the name of the platform, color and design, features and functionality. It's one of the reasons these digital first learning experiences are so successful. They are 100% co-created with teens and they give kids the information they want and the agency they crave. I love everything about that co-creation with teens. It, it sounds like it's been critical to the success and, and I think a lot more companies should implement that mentality as well. I guess, Rilwan, flipping to you, I'd love to understand how you've made some headway with ASA's impact investing strategy. Would love to learn more. Yes, that's right, Claire. We are investing and really trying to drive career readiness change for kids. As you remember, last April, we launched our impact investing strategy, and we've made tremendous progress since then. I'm happy to announce we invested over $20 million in key sectors, such as career-focused education, workforce development, and intentional post-secondary pathways. This was, a, this was a mix between investing in funds and direct private investments. Last year, we closed four investments, including our first direct investment in an innovative direct-to-kid technology company that's really going to change the way young people learn. This year, we will invest an additional $25 to $30 million to further our mission to provide career-focused education to students nationwide. We'd love to continue meeting great startups and innovators out here, so please come to our office hours this Tuesday afternoon from 2.30 to 4.30, Seaport Tower, uh, suite 977. Thanks, Rowan. I love how mission-driven ASA is. And so, Jean, ASA is known for its philanthropic grant giving. Are you still providing these career grants for career readiness? Yes, we are. In fact, ASA has given over $26 million in grants to nonprofits who are pioneering career readiness initiatives for teens. You may have seen our press release announcing more than $10 million in grants to mission-aligned organizations just this year. Some of our grants are focused on the concept of giving kids the opportunity to test and try in high school. And why are we doing this? Because our research found that 79% of high school students were interested in work-based learning experiences. 
but only 34% were aware of any opportunities for kids their age. And just 2% had completed an internship during high school. We want to change that. So we gave Big Picture Learning a $1.5 million grant to increase access to its digital internship management programs. We gave the US Chamber of Commerce Foundation a $1.5 million grant to fund the launch of an online platform that brings together high school and post-secondary learners to create solutions to real-world employer-led challenges. And there are others that are in the works. If you want to learn more, Julie Lammers, our Senior VP of Advocacy and Corporate Social Responsibility, is here as well. Sounds like people should definitely be checking out those office hours and reaching out to Julie. Um, anything else that you guys would like to share? Yes, I'm so pleased we partnered with ASU GSV this year to create the Pathways Innovator Scholarship Program, which provided 11 startups and growth stage innovation companies the ability to attend the summit this year. My only hope is that more of us will continue to invest in talent and innovation in the Gen Z career readiness community. And Claire, I'd like to thank you, and I'd also like to thank ASU GSV for bringing us together with so many thought leaders. If folks want to learn more, please visit ASA.org, and please don't hesitate to come to our office hours in Seapoint 977. Thanks so much.